Well, have you guys ever met? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Barry. Some of you might not have even watched this. It just ended a couple of weeks ago. I actually regret not having been on the Barry train. This show started back in 2018 and the concept is kind of something you would have seen before until you got about three episodes in, technically speaking two. The show revolves around Barry, a former Marine who is now a contract killer who kind of really doesn't know his place in life. He does these jobs because Fugues, his friend and contractor, has this kind of connection with him, but he doesn't know what to do himself, and then he accidentally comes across an acting studio while hunting down a target. There he meets Sally, a woman who he believes he has interest with, but she has definitely far more interest in herself, as well as Jean Cousineau, played amazingly by Henry Winkler. Everything about this show is about ego. It is about how ego is destructive, how ego is personality, finite about how it defines someone even when they have possibly found a way around their own problems their own challenges their own vices and barry's just this hopeless sap who just keeps on trying to appease people with his own mild inner ego and it's just so fun to watch the show not only is a very very good black comedy but it also has some technical feats both with choreograph fight scenes, audio design, and even cinematography in some ways that just kind of come out of nowhere. The show presents itself from a very basic perspective, but with some very good writing and some very good engineering and some very good directing, a lot of that on Bill Hader's part. Barry is a show that you think you know what you're going to get, but then every episode just keeps on turning and keeps on changing the perspective, but keeps it in an area of familiarity, humor, and actually a lot of self-reflection. I think that this show had so many things that could have gone wrong, but they didn't. They had an episode in season two where it was this extremely long fight scene with a taekwondo master and his kind of demon-esque like child just kept on going it didn't need to go this long but it did and it was entertaining throughout there's a car chase scene involving a really crappy dirt bike in season three i believe that it's a very simple shot of barry just riding along uh, the bike in between two rows of cars but there is audio for every single car he passes by and you get a little snippet of radio conversation argument personal stuff that you get just a glimpse of as you pass by that's why i have to mention the audio design of the show because it's really really good and i haven't even gone into that much detail but the characters of this show everything about this show screams hollywood parody about from the egos of actors to the personalities or the false personalities that they try to put on in terms of trying to have a character. There's an episode where Barry talks about his first kill, but he doesn't exactly tell it the way that it should be, but now everyone's jealous that he has personal trauma, so they have to try and come up with their own. Like, one of them talks about having felt this trauma while in the womb. It's such a good slant at actors and Hollywood people and wannabe actors. Having met a couple of people like this, I felt like it was even more tongue in cheek for me and especially for people in the film industry because a lot of what happens in this is most likely reflections of how a lot of the actors in this show started out, including Bill Hader. And every time, every time you think something's gonna go well, whether it's for Fugues or you think it's for Noho Hank, who by the way was originally only supposed to be in the first episode, but they liked him so much that they kept him all the way through the show. You think that Gene Cousineau is gonna probably make something better for himself. Sally, I don't know, I feel like Sally is kind of the Skyler of this show, a little bit more for her own kind of uh, character growth a little bit less hated but she definitely has this reliance on wanting people to approve of her she doesn't care about the connection of the emotional connection of the relationship ideal that she has with barry it's about her own fulfillment and that's exactly what everyone else is though everyone else is about their own fulfillment from different perspectives every time you think that you know what's going to happen it just keeps going and it stays funny and it also stays quite brutal there are 
some violent elements in this show that just kind of pop up and somehow it can still make it funny but like you know in the back of your mind you're like I don't know if I really should be laughing at this but it's still really funny so I want to all the way through just keeps getting better and better and better a lot of people would say that the second season is the best I would say that's a pretty decent assumption because three and four are equally good maybe just if not like a thimble below two but the whole way through I pounded through this show up until the last five episodes then watched them as they aired and I really regret having not watched this show. I got three episodes in back when it started and I just kind of fell off of it. If you haven't seen Barry I very much recommend it. It is a great black comedy. It is a great funny character building show and it has a lot of self-reflection, not just with actors, but about ego in general. There's a lot of cool little video essays talking about the ego, uh, the egocentric side of the show. Because while the show does appear to be kind of a simplistic humor, uh, somewhat action black comedy based, there is so many layers of actually really well written dialogue, character development, and plot progression that keep you on your toes and keep you in fucking bits. Before I give my review, I'm going to give you probably one of my favorite bits from the entire show. So long as YouTube doesn't copyright this clip, this is the part where you should realize just how funny this show is. Folks, Ryan Madison is dead. <laughs> so in the end, what is my rating for Barry? I I'm going to be honest. I really, really like it. I don't know if I would rewatch it because I just blasted through it. Maybe I'll watch it again, but it's very easy to consume. Each episode's only 30 minutes long. So in the end, I'm going to give Barry a 6 out of 7. This was a really, really good series. That's, that's the entirety. That's from Season 1, Episode 1, all the way to the finale of Season 4. So definitely check it out. You can probably watch it in a day or two, and you'll really, really enjoy it. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Sorry for taking so long to make a video. I know it's been a while, but there's been a lot of work. There's been a lot of stuff going on. I am going to try my best to slam through a bunch of movies in the next few days. So hopefully I'll have some content for you. I am still getting ready to talk about the Pacific. I just want to finish the audiobook helmet for my pillow before I do that. So anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.